I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chelame City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Come here, bot. Here, bot. Is still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. With your Vovas bots, Andre. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Order to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions. For once. You dickhead. seems so happy and content, just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit, and I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Look at it. 
Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone. <laughs> for your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Addressed by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome to your future. To the lobby of that high rise, comrade. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest events in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. So glad to see you're taking it easy, comrade major. No, the car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access call. We so left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived.
It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And... Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We could take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So. What do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades I just came from in every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of oh, robotic workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music?
This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemey Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Patrov is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory of the facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck!
Attention, this is an emergency It's killing me. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caught... Viktor Petrov is... Viktor Petrov is the reason, the traitor, who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sechenov out. Holy shit! Hey, Glove. Yes, Major? Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? Shit! Uh, get away from me! Uh, go fuck yourself! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh, you should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your arse! 30 seconds until what? Oh, 
30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Shit. Come to Granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! What a goddamn clusterfuck. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, Ugh. who's there? They found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady, this is... We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Oh, Enough yeah. with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? The collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Sergeant Major Ibrahimov, I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, listen to me! This place is dangerous! Just turn the handle and open the door! What the shit? Hang on, buddy! Hang on! Hang on! Machines rose from the ashes. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to. Oh, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack 
for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel. But I don't know how long I've been the robots inside the complex. <coughs> hey, Ivan, is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode is activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I gonna do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP-generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. Something's wrong. Oh, shit! Come on, get up, soldier. Uh, Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps, 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 forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! No! Oh, 
Holy shit! Avoid the beam! Ooh. Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock-picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless. As <laughs> it worked! <laughs> A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Fading data. What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stun! I can't get enough of the jumps. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. No need to fight back, sugar. Oh, you're gonna love this. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open the suggestions! Bring me to her sensor manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys! I'm on fire! Closer! I can't reach her! No, I'm trying, I'm trying! She's one strong-ass bitch! I'm at your service, sugar! Anything for my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with... Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. But I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Fading data. What's with the Vovas with black bodies, Nikolai? Regular VOV A6s follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want and just ignore orders. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do, jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out.
found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. 
it would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. They say Monday begins on Saturday. But I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, national polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th. And our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand, not a bonus. Have a great weekend. The cable car is offline. Reboot the control system to reactivate the line. How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ugh. It'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Uh... There it is. Charles. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer. Go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me. He's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope. Won't go. The dead have a risen. Holy fuck! A talking corpse. I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome. We are ready to depart. Please take your seats. Attend your ticket. Nine. Sorry. No eight, ticket. Seven. Six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. gonna be rough. Shit. You again? Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that.
Shit. That was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. Yeah. I wouldn't survive it. Charles, that was a Barav, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Baravs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. What are you talking about? The Buravs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Comrade? What's so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Burav roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, digging God knows what. Like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground and in a month, you'll have a complete subway system. Or any sort of tunnel. Subways, hell! It's the moon they were going to use them for. Terraforming. So they're top secret and their armor is tougher than a tag's. PTA plates, unmarked. Cutting edge sides. Sorry. I gotta run. Sure, sure. Yeah, you okay. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark-ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. <laughs> Hey, this is my stop. What a nice trip. Security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, 
on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. I need to go through a laser wall, preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Uh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. Oh, crap! That hurt! That thing packs a punch! Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a Burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning! Hey, freeze! Warning! Damn it. Red alert. Lockdown in progress. at ordering those robots around. It's almost like they're his property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called a candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like 
An explosion? Not necessarily. But the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. So, you think you're smarter than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you said... No, I said that if I had the same opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be their equal. And I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. We've talked about this a hundred times and you still don't believe me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here. Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nutcases, metallic or otherwise. That sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> 